Welcome to NCC Unplugged, the podcast from Norman Christian Church, where conversations, community, and culture converge. Welcome back to another episode of NCC Unplugged, a place where we have conversations, talk about culture, uh, live in community. We're excited about this episode. Uh, joining me is Matt Mastriani, our Director of Tech and Social Media. Hello once again. Thanks for having me. And our special guest for today is someone who I learned has a fuller first name than I realized. Uh, <laughs> we call her Faith Moore, and that you were introduced to the church on Sunday. Faith Moore, but your first name? Is Melody. And Is Melody. Yeah. So is your first name like a two-parter? No. It's like Melody... And then a middle name is Faith. Okay. 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 So not Melody Faith. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> but you're going by Faith this, yes. this summer? Like, okay. So it's her summer name. There you go. <laughs> Long introduction on, right? to yeah. a name, but we're excited that you're joining us. Uh, really, we're going to ha- just have a conversation with Faith and talk about her life story a little bit and why she's joining us this summer. She's our uh, summer intern for children's ministry. And so she's going to be working with Allison, uh, our director of children's ministry this summer. Uh, working with Jonathan in some youth ministry stuff. Uh, what we love to do when we have interns here at NCC is really give them the full breadth of church ministry. And so we're excited to have you with us this summer and uh, to see what God has in store for you and for us on that journey. So Faith, start off by telling us a little bit about yourself, uh, your faith journey, what brought you to NCC? Um, well, growing up, I actually went to like a home church. And then around like fourth or fifth grade, we started going to Freedom Christian Church. Um, And then a couple years after we started going, we got Garrett as our youth pastor. So he was my youth pastor in middle school and high school. Um, And really, he might not know this, but kind of played a really big part in me going into ministry and having those opportunities. Mm. Um, And that's also kind of how I ended up here because he came home to visit freedom and mentioned that you guys might be looking for an intern to my parents. And they were like, Oh, cool. She needs one. (laughs) Yeah. So Garrett Crawford, our minister of small groups and outreach was your youth minister over in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Um, what was that like five years ago, six years ago? Yeah. Four years ago. So something (laughs) Something around there. So, uh, any embarrassing stories of Garrett (laughs) back in the day? Sure. I'm sure there are. Okay, this is one. So it was like Thanksgiving, and my dad told him there was, he like fooled him into thinking that turkey glue was a thing. (laughs) 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 And he was like totally convinced. So that's awesome. Nice. Maybe Garrett won't listen, and we'll be able to continue (laughs) asking him if he has turkey glue. Yeah. We'll see. So, um, in those years for you, like you talked about Garrett being a big influence, were you someone, were you high school, you're taking your faith serious, you're going to church, you're doing what God wants you to do? Yeah. Um, so I kind of got that call to ministry at our Christian camp um, at like 14. And so mm. really going into high school, kind of knew that's what I wanted to do. And so he really got me to mm. do those opportunities, like going to the camps and helping out and stuff like that. Very cool. So then after high school, you're in college? Went yes. to college? <laughs> <laughs> um, I go to Camelsville University, um, and it's like 30 minutes from where I live, 45. That's in like. Kentucky? Yeah. Okay. It's in Kentucky. Um, and I'm doing educational ministries there. Educational ministries. So is that necessarily like young kids? Uh, Not technically. So technically yeah. it's... Any ministry that's teaching discipleship focused. Very cool. So it can be children, youth, like mm-hmm. college, mm-hmm. Um, even like uh, small groups and stuff like that. So Faith, uh, when we were interviewing Garrett, he brought this up and you brought it up too. So I'll, I'll get your uh, thoughts on it. Whenever you said you felt a calling uh, at the age of 14, what for you, like what was that calling? Like how how do you kind of say this this was God saying this is what you need to do. Yeah, so it was actually the last day of a middle school camp. Um, and they had done like, you know, if you decided to 
become a Christian this week, like stand up. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they went on to say, if you decided to dedicate your life to ministry this week, stand up. And I had just like, was just caught in a moment of, oh, I've never heard them say that before. That's kind of cool. But then it was like, we were all sitting down and it was like, Jesus kind of tapped me on the shoulder and was like, why aren't you standing up? And mm-hmm. I don't even remember standing up. I just remember being standing up <laughs> and crying and not really knowing what that meant. And so right. that was kind of what high school was, was like figuring out where that calling right. was and what it meant. Okay. All right. But you were like in high school and everything. You're yeah. like, your faith meant a lot to you. Yeah. And that's good. That's good. Cause I know, you know, a lot, like I grew up in the church, but it wasn't until like I was out of high school into college that it, I really started taking it seriously and everything. So that's, that's pretty cool to, to see it happen at such a young age for you. Yeah. Have an impact. So have you had other opportunities to work with children? Um, I'm trying to think if there's any really outside of like Freedom Christian. Mm-hmm. I did, was kind of in charge of the youth band directing cool. that when cool. Garrett left for so a little does bit. So does that mean you long. play an instrument? You yes, sing? I play piano. And technically, I also play um, ukulele. What do you mean you by know. technically? Yeah. But. Like, you know, the basics that everybody should be able to pick up on a ukulele. Because I feel like ukulele is just like a beginner's. Everybody should be able to play a ukulele. So not classically <laughs> trained. And if everybody no. should be able to play it, what does that mean for uh, yeah. Jeff and myself yeah. who uh, right. can't play it? Like you try. Okay. It right. would be easy. Oh, okay. Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. I could probably pretend to, but right. I don't yeah. know. Do you know how to play Riptide on it? I'm really bad at strumming patterns. Oh, uh, okay. So no. <laughs> My daughter taught herself how to play the ukulele. That was one of the very first songs. So. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so what are some things that you are looking forward to this summer being being on staff with us and experiencing some of the things that I know Allison has planned for you? So much. Um, well, right now, it's just kind of seeing how behind the scenes things work. Um because I've never really got to see that side of ministry before. I've just been like the volunteer who shows up and everything's, Mm -hmm. here's what you need to do. Um, But also still, I'm looking forward to like going on the camps and stuff like that because that's my passion of mine. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty good at that. Very good. Outside of once your internship's done, so what year are you in college right now? I'm a senior. Okay. But like this past semester was my first senior okay like semester so i'll graduate in december oh okay all right and then what leaving there like in a perfect world like if if faith has like the perfect job and once i graduate this is what i'm doing what does that look like probably children's or youth ministry in a church in like nashville oh, okay all right. yeah because of the nash like you said Nashville, which intrigues me. Yeah. Because you like that area, because of the music scene, because of the churches. Uh, I really like the city of Nashville. Okay. So I just, if I could pick where I end up, that's where I would pick. <laughs> I do have a feeling like everyone in Nashville can play the ukulele. Yeah, probably. <laughs> From what I know, I've, they, I've actually never been there. But. They probably can do strumming patterns too. Faith, yeah. Just saying. So. <laughs> What do you think has impacted you the most in your faith? Was it being part of a youth group? Was it that moment when you were 14? Was it parents, yeah. grandparents? Being raised in a uh, in a home church as yeah. well. You know, that could play I part. think it would probably have to be mostly like my parents. Mm-hmm. Um, just because they were very like, I guess the word is, active in our Mm -hmm. faith as kids um and like my dad would always read us missionary stories and um like would be that person that we could go to if we had like a spiritual question um so I don't know I feel like that's one big thing but another was just like also their encouragement to really make our faith our own pretty early on before we left the Mm -hmm. house um Mm -hmm. So that was part of why it was like so strong in high school. Right. What did that look like for you? Because I know a lot of times kids piggyback off of their parents' faith just mm-hmm. because, you know, they're the ones taking you to church every week. And they're, so 
when they encourage you to make it your own? How, what did that look like for you? And I'm sorry, do you have brothers or sisters? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have so, four. Yeah, four. So what did that like, what did that look like for them as well? Um, I, I guess it was just kind of giving us like, I don't know really what it was. Maybe it was just like the culture of our home mm -hmm. was that you um, learn to read the Bible on your own and like spend time with the Lord and go, you know, experience things with him. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Setting apart, having a structure of like, this is what we do in this household, mm -hmm. but you are going to kind of take it upon yourself to to kind of see what that fits into yeah. and not necessarily like a co cookie cutter, like this is how we do it. So this is how you're going to do it. Yeah. So yeah. Very interesting. Yes. Faith, do you have a favorite Bible verse? I do. Um, Psalms 27, four is kind of my last verse, actually the whole Psalm, but I only have four memorized. <laughs> um, but basically the, the one thing that you desire is to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord all the mm -hmm. days of your life. Um, and that's been like, especially this past year, just seeing a lot of connections to that in my life. And um, recently went to a conference where she connected it to um, Mary and Luke. And that's the one thing that she desired. And that was the, the right thing to choose. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. Anything else for our audience to know about you? <laughs> <laughs> um like if they're like, okay, this is the one thing to know about faith. I guess there's a few things. I have a very diverse musical taste. Hmm. Um, so Expound. pretty much anything. Okay. Uh, except like, I know there's one, but I don't know what it is. Except for but country. Well, no, I we do like, like country. country. <laughs> but I have to be like in the mood, you know, especially like in the summer. It's kind of like. You bring out the summer clothes and you bring out the country music. Oh, huh. so. okay. Well, yeah, I forgot you're from Kentucky. Yeah, Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> Once to be in Nashville. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you like everything else? Yeah. Rock, rap? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Good. <laughs> so, um, uh, well, let me say this, too, for those that are listening. This is Faith's third day in the office, right? Yeah. So this is her, like... We're excited because she's just starting off and she's already saying yes to being on the podcast yeah. and being interviewed. And uh, so we're excited about this summer and what's in store for her and the things that she'll learn and uh, the things that we as a, as a church can learn from her as well. So I'm excited about you being here this summer and the different things that uh, you get to do. A lot of things that we've done, you know, VBS and camp and uh, just the fun days and all of that. So. Enjoy it. It's going to be good. So, Faith, I do have a question. When you were growing up in the youth group, what's one thing that your church did or that you did that, like, really stands out as this was, like, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, a God thing or whatever, just, like, in an event or activity that, that really stood out to you that was, like, this this was, like, a staple of my youth group experience. and um, I guess Garrett took us on a mission trip like specifically designed for like uh high school students um i forget what it was called maybe connect or something but we went to ohio and me and my brother went together and um it was just like a cool experience it was it was like you go off with people you don't know to do the service project but then you also have your time with your small group and then you also have time that like you learn and serve mm -hmm. so it's just really cool experience oh that's cool so going back to garrett then too did he use a lot of greek and hebrew and everything whenever yeah. he was your youth minister and <laughs> okay. i actually really liked that like okay. right. that was his style of um how he did our youth group mm -hmm. really like infused like a love for theology in us mm -hmm. without like going way over our heads oh, okay um, and also a part of it was just, we kind of had some smart people in our youth group at the time. And so like, he was like, what do you guys want to learn about? And we were all like, can we do a series on revelation? So we did like oh, all geez. the okay. like, yeah. different views and stuff on it. So just things like that. Yeah. Like he didn't, um, underestimate us cause we were just in high school. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 Oh, that's very good. Well, sorry for stealing him from you a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you're probably... 
Well, you were gone by that point. Yeah, right? I, you're in college like, when graduated you graduated. Freedom about the same time he did the senior pastoring, anyways, and then I gotcha. really went to college like when he left. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So Garrett was a youth minister when you were there, and then he changed to preaching, and then we stole him. And then, yeah. So. yeah. We didn't steal him. We no. asked him to come, <laughs> and he did. He willing, willingly came. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if, uh, for those listening, we've only really done one outside interview before as far as, you know, from our church, and we're looking forward to a lot more of, uh, we have some different people uh, lined up to interview. And so I'm really, I'm looking for a question to ask everybody we interview. And so Faith, I'm going to end with this question, I think this is the question that I'm going to ask most people as we interview them and talk about their life story, their faith, all that. What's one small act of kindness someone did for you that you'll never forget, and how did that impact you? Uh, I'd have to say this was one of my friends from college, Jay. Um, she, I like, kind of didn't hang out with anybody on my birthday, <laughs> and I like mentioned that to her, and without like even a second of thinking about it. She just like was like, okay, well we're going out, we're doing something together. And like was just really like quick to show love in that way. Um, So that's really stuck with me to like check on people and to love people a little extra. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Good reminder. Love people a little extra. Well, thanks for listening to NCC Unplugged. We appreciate the time that you took to be with us today. I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to NCC Unplugged. If you've enjoyed listening to our podcast, we encourage you to share this with your friends and family. NCC Unplugged is available on all major podcast platforms. And if you're ever interested in experiencing Norwin Christian Church firsthand, we invite you to join us for our services every Sunday at 8.45 and 10.30 a.m. We have engaging classes available for all ages, ensuring there's something meaningful for everyone in our church community. For more information about NCC or any other inquiries, visit norwinchristianchurch.com 